Hey guys, welcome back. So today in the Python programming, we are going to discuss on the GCET algorithms. So the, uh, my agenda in this exercise is to present you GCET exercise in Python GUI script directly instead of showing you the slides and how the steps is working. Uh, I am expecting that you guys will be able to understand it quickly. So you see what I'm doing is the first algorithm, what, how can you calculate the GCD of two numbers, right? So you can calculate the GCD of two numbers. You suppose it's 625 and 25, right? You calculate the GCD of 25. You calculate the, all the divisors of 25, 1 to 25. You calculate all the divisors from, of 625 from 1 to 625. Whatever are commons of 25 and 625 and whichever is the greater number, you will say that is the greatest common divisor. That's it. So I have written this program in the same format. You see, I have, I'm just having a variable j which is which is going to tell me like how many steps it has taken to calculate the program right so there should be efficiency in the program right so this global j is just to demonstrate you like how many steps it has taken to calculate the algorithm is taking to calculate the gcd of m and n then there is a fm and fn which is nothing but the list so list is like it is showing storing values of the divisors of m and n in the next program, whichever are the divisors like from 1 to 25 or 1 to 625, right? For like suppose 625, then I'm storing it in FM and suppose 25, then it, I'm storing in FN. That's all I'm doing. That's it, right? FN, FM append and FN are the same things. Then common factors, I'm just trying to evaluate the common factors of FM and FN in this algorithm, in this set, right? From line number this to this, you see. Then I'm retaining the last value of the common factor in the list common factor I'm so that is the greatest common divisor right so I'm returning that value so let's see how this program runs so let's run this program so it is asking me for first number let's see I'm running 625 is my first number then I'm giving the second number so it has taken like 656 steps to evaluate you see this fn is 1525 but it has it has calculated entire till 625 right here you see 155, 125, and 625 are the five divisors, right? But you see, it is taking a lot of time to evaluate this. Now, I suppose I have given one lakh and ni five nines, right? It would have taken like one lakh steps to calculate it, right? So th this is this is not a very good algorithm, right? In a way. So let's let's say for your sake, let's run it. Let's say one four zeros nine nine nine. Let's see how many steps. Oh, it is taking so many steps. 11,001 steps it has taken, right? It is a long number of steps it's taking. What I can I did in the second program, you see here, instead of evaluating of 625, 25, so I'm just saying you evaluate the divisor till the lowest of m, n. So 625 and 25, what is the lowest number? 25. So evaluate the divisor till 25 because look, if suppose the greatest common divisor of 625 is 125, right? 125 will never be the divisor of 25, okay? So 25, above 25, there will be no divisors, right? So in a way, what I'm doing is I'm evaluating the, for M and N, both numbers, I'm evaluating the divisor till N, which, whichever is smaller of M and N, right? So that is what I'm doing here, you see? I'm saying M, comma N, whichever is the minimum number, plus one because plus one because this is going to from one to that plus one but that will not be included it, it will start from one so it i'm evaluating the common divisors and returning the highest value and that's all that's what i'm running so you see just to run this one you see now 625 and 25 you see it has taken only 25 number of steps which is a good way so we have reduced the number of steps drastically in the second program Okay, well, how we can make it more better program. So in the third program, you see, I'm, I'm using a list here, right? But you don't really need a CF list. You just need a last value, right? You just need to store the last value. In the third program, what I'm doing is, I'm just most recent common factor, I'm just storing that value, that's it. You see, same program, but just most recent common factor, I'm storing that number. So in this program, I have I have a less number of memory compared to the third program. So then let's run this one. Let's run 625, 25. Then it's taking the 625 steps, but I'm just not using a list, right? In the fourth program, that is a Euclidean program, right? In the third program, 
uh, you may say uh, suppose I'm taking 1 lakh and 999 right so let's rerun it let's let's run four zeros and triple nine so it is still taking triple number number of steps right so that is a limitation again for the third program for 625 25 it was working good but like suppose only one number difference is there or two number difference are there right it's still taking a lot of steps right thousand steps what i can do is in Euclidean. so there is a concept you see here i'm saying let's say I, what i'm giving i'm giving two numbers one is like a dividend and another is like a divisor that is what you're doing right so suppose 625 25 25 can directly divide the 625 so you can say 25 is the gcd of 25 and 625 right so i i put up an algorithm in this way that is suppose gcd there is exist a gcd other than one okay if there exists a gcd for dividend then there exists a dvd for gcd for divisor so if dividend is nothing but divisor plus remainder right if dividend has the gcd d let's say then divisor also has the gcd suppose say d okay then remainder will also have the gcd okay d only right so in a way either you calculate the gcd of dividend and divisor or you calculate the dividend of uh, gcd of divisor and quotient both remain the same thing hope you got my point right so what i'm saying is gcd of remainder and gcd of quotient is the same thing as gcd of dividend and gcd of quotient right so two numbers i'm giving let's say 625 and 25 right so 625 25 let's say 5 is the number right which divides 625 as well as 25 right okay 25 25 divides both 625 that's okay but let's say 5 is dividing both 625 and 25 right so how we could have written that 625 is nothing but 5 into 1 25 5 into 1 25 is 625 then 25 is what 5 into 5 that is 25 we can write 5 into 4 plus 5 so 5 so we can evaluate in this way we could evaluate in this way for 625 and 25 right let's say So 625 and 25, I think it, it, it will be directly because 25 is getting right, right 625. Let's say 626, one number more than 25, right? So 625, 6 and 625, GCT will be what? GCT is 1, that's it, right? But what we can do is, we can write down, either you calculate the GCT of 626 and 25, or you calculate the GCT of remainder, that is what? 1, 1 and 25 that is the same thing making sense right making sense right so that's what we are doing is you see either you collect the gcd of n comma n modulus n that is the same as calculating the gcd of m comma n okay so what i'm doing here is i'm just calculating the number of steps it's taking to run what i'm saying is m comma n is equal to n comma n when m is less than n right because we always want m should be greater than n right if m if divisor can directly divide the dividend then i'm saying that that is a gcd for m and both if it doesn't divide then what you do you calculate the gcd of uh, divisor and remainder and that should be the same as gcd of dividend because dividend divisor because quotient is nothing but an integer number right divisor is an integer number remainder is also an integer number but remainder if suppose there exist for gcd for dividend then there should be exist for gcd for divisor and remainder same gcd will be there right so i'm just calculating the same way now let's calculate this one and let's run because we had a limitation in thousand steps it was taking right so we have given the four zeros and triple line how many steps taking it's taking the three steps so how it is doing is 10,000 divided by 999 right so First, it will divide and it will calculate that 10 is the number that is remainder. Then it is going to take the GCD of 10 and 4 nines. Then it will see 9 is the remainder. 9 and now what will be the uh, 10, 9 will be the stuff, right? So uh, 1, 1 will be the now remainder. 
then 9 comma 1 will happen you see in else part we are doing still then it uh, then it is like number state taken is uh, amortization is 3 right okay <coughs> And model sign is 1 and uh, what is going to divide what 9 and so 10,000 and 989 right so 10 is the first remainder in first case then there is a uh, divisor for 10 and 999 right then this is a 9 that is a remainder so then 9 remainder and and what what will be taken up 9 remainder and divisor divisor is what so let's take it so let's see what numbers we have given let's comment it 10,000 comma four nines right so in the first step either you calculate the steps this one or this one then either or else you calculate the ten thousand and nine 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 right only one is there okay so either you calculate 999 and what is the remainder remaining 10 right then you calculate the 99 uh, 10 is the remainder 9 will be the remainder now right so 10 comma 9 you calculate this one 10 comma 9 then what will happen it is again not going to divide it you then take the 9 comma 1 1 will be the remainder right so and then it will divide directly so you have taken like in a way four steps so in a way uh, how many integers how many numbers are there plus one will be that so, right so one two three four zero five zeros so maximum minus one or else three plus one that's it minimum of nine 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 plus one that many steps okay so this is a better algorithm including algorithm it is only taking four steps to kill it hope you understand this program gcd and this is our first python program and hope you enjoy this course thanks